For nearly half a century, Voyager 1 drifted silently beyond the edge of our solar system, alone, forgotten, and dying. But in 2023, something changed. A low, steady hum emerged from the void. Then, without command, Voyager turned. Not toward a star, not toward a planet, toward nothing. And in that nothing, it found something. A signal structured like language. A whisper that should never have existed. Now, physicist Michio Kaku warns, this isn't a glitch, it's a replium, a message not from Earth, but to it. What did Voyager encounter? Who or what contacted us in deep space? The answer may change how we see the universe, forever. The signal Voyager wasn't meant to hear. It began with a hum. In late 2023, Voyager 1, over 15 billion miles from Earth, picked up something it was never supposed to detect a low-frequency vibration embedded within the interstellar plasma around it. At first, NASA assumed it was background interference, cosmic radiation, or perhaps a final sputter from the aging spacecraft. But this wasn't noise. It was structured, rhythmic, repeating. Artificial intelligence models were called in, not to find a signal, but to rule out imagination. Instead, the algorithms lit up with alarm. They identified symmetrical waveforms, harmonic intervals, and binary progressions buried in the static. What should have been decaying telemetry had become something else, an organized pattern evolving over time. Not broadcast from Earth, not caused by solar flares, not a random artifact of Voyager's ancient instruments. Then came the real shock. Voyager turned, its thrusters, dormant for decades, activated without instruction. Slowly, methodically, it reoriented itself, not toward a known star or point of interest, but toward a void, an area of map space utterly dark, devoid of stars, devoid of matter, and yet exactly where the signal was coming from. Physicist Michio Kaku reviewed the data and offered a haunting assessment. This is not chaos, this is code. A deliberate signal, perhaps, but not one meant for us. Kaku's concern wasn't what Voyager heard, it was that we were never supposed to hear it. And the silence that followed has only made the question more terrifying. Who sent the signal, and what were they listening for? The Golden Record When Voyager 1 launched in 1910, it carried with it a golden disc, a copper record coated in gold, inscribed with music, greetings in 55 languages, sounds of Earth, and most notably a map. That map, designed by Carl Sagan's team, uses 14 pulsars to triangulate Earth's position with stunning precision. It was humanity's bold gesture, a cosmic message in a bottle, tossed into the ocean of interstellar space. But what if that message wasn't just received? What if it was answered? Nearly 50 years later, scientists are reconsidering the implications of the golden record, not as an invitation, but as a signal flare. The disk doesn't just represent Earth, it reveals our exact location. The coordinates are timeless, readable by any civilization capable of detecting pulsars. And the content, though poetic, is naive in hindsight. We assumed we'd be alone in the void, that we could speak without being heard. Now with Voyager's reorientation and the detection of an intelligent signal, some believe the golden record may have worked too well. If a machine intelligence discovered the probe, it may have replied in the only language we both understand, mathematics, through harmonic resonance, through binary, through Voyager itself. Michio Kaku has warned, we lit a beacon in the dark, but never asked who might see the light. What was once a hopeful gesture is now considered by some to be the most dangerous object humanity ever created. Not for what it carries, but for what it may have summoned the turn toward darkness. Voyager 1 wasn't supposed to move, not like this. Its thrusters, long dormant, hadn't been used in decades. Frozen, low on fuel and beyond repair, they were the mechanical lungs of a probe on life support. Yet in early 2024, data confirmed an undeniable truth. Voyager had rotated, without command, without signal, and it had pointed its antenna and its legacy toward a part of space utterly devoid of light. NASA engineers were stunned. The spacecraft's attitude control logs showed a clear, intentional maneuver, but no command had been sent from Earth. 
No sequence triggered it. No solar wind or gravitational push could explain it. It was as if the spacecraft had responded autonomously. The direction it faced, a cataloged void. No stars, no exoplanets, not even background radiation strong enough to chart. Just a cold, mathematically quiet zone. The same region where the anomalous hum had first emerged. Some suggested that Voyager was reacting to a gravitational ripple or an exotic form of dark matter. Others, more cautiously, proposed an artificial source, an unseen presence, perhaps cloaked or non-physical, broadcasting on frequencies meant to be noticed only by instruments like Voyager's plasma wave detector. Michio Kaku was among the first to voice what others whispered. It's as if something wanted Voyager to look. The implications were staggering. Voyager wasn't just listening, it had been compelled to observe. And in that dark direction, there may be something that saw us first. AI and the architecture of the unknown. At first, the signal data looked like gibberish, erratic pings, distorted telemetry, digital noise from a dying machine. But when run through artificial intelligence systems designed for pattern recognition and deep space data, the truth became unavoidable. Voyager had captured something far more complex than a malfunction. AI flagged several key anomalies. First, harmonic structures, precise intervals across the frequency spectrum, forming what one analyst called mathematical chords. Then came prime number sequences, embedded not in the message content, but in its timing, spaced in intervals that defied natural processes. Most chilling of all, the signal adapted. The data stream began to respond to Voyager's systems, as if mirroring its status, syncing with its telemetry. One AI-generated visual, a spectral map of the signal structure, revealed something haunting. The waveform wasn't noise, it had geometry, symmetry, architecture. Michio Kaku described it as an echo with intent. He compared it not to language, but to design, blueprints of information rather than sentences. This is not a call, he said, it's a construct. Theories began to coalesce. Was this the fingerprint of an artificial intelligence? Not biological life, but a machine or network built for observation? Perhaps even an ancient one? If so, it may not be communicating. It may be watching, recording, reacting. And if this system had truly remained dormant until Voyager passed through, then its activation might mean more than a simple response. It could be the opening line of something far larger than we can currently grasp. Theories of contact, from surveillance to sentinels. In the absence of clear answers, scientists and theorists have offered a spectrum of possibilities, ranging from grounded astrophysics to haunting speculation. If Voyager didn't just detect a signal, but triggered one, then what exactly did it interact with? Theory one, the surveillance net. Some believe Voyager passed through an ancient monitoring system, an interstellar tripwire designed to detect signs of intelligent life. Like an alarm system spanning space, it lies silent until disturbed. Theory two, the artificial sentry. Others posit that what Voyager encountered was a dormant AI probe, a relic from a long dead civilization, or a still watching one. Its response was not a greeting, but a diagnostic ping, a status check. Theory three, the mirror probe. A bold theory suggests that Voyager's signal was bounced back at itself, not from Earth, but from a hidden object using the spacecraft's own transmission to reflect a message. Like sonar, it wasn't a call, it was a response to our noise. Theory four, the filter. Michio Kaku speculates this may be something more fundamental. A test, a filter, a mechanism that judges whether a civilization is advanced or dangerous based on its behavior. We may not be in a conversation, he warns. We may be under review. Each theory leads to the same unsettling thought. Voyager may not have simply reached deep space. It may have crossed a boundary, one we didn't know was there until it was too late. NASA's silence and the classified shift. In the days following Voyager's unexpected rotation and signal anomaly, something changed, not in space, but on Earth. NASA, which had routinely published even the smallest updates on the aging spacecraft, suddenly went quiet. 
Internal memos began referring to the event not as a signal detection, but a persistent anomaly. Teams were reassigned, security protocols tightened, and collaboration with civilian AI labs analyzing the signal was abruptly halted. Behind closed doors, meetings intensified. Representatives from NASA, ESA, Roscosmos, and China's CNSA reportedly held briefings described only as non-public anomaly reviews. The shared concern was not whether the signal was real, but what it meant and whether it should be revealed. One anonymous systems analyst shared a chilling insight. It's not just that Voyager responded, it's that it responded after we stopped sending anything. A silence that seemed to trigger the signal. Michio Kaku, though careful in public, alluded to the real fear. This may not be contact. This may be exposure. Was the signal intended for us? Or did we simply overhear something not meant to be intercepted, like stumbling onto a secure channel in a language only our machines understood? If so, then humanity's most distant ambassador may have done something its creators never anticipated. It may have alerted something, someone, that we are here. The silence that followed. Then, nothing. After the structured hum, the mathematical patterns, and Voyager's mysterious reorientation, the most terrifying development was what didn't happen next. There was no reply, no second message just the deafening silence of the void. For days, then weeks, researchers scoured the data for continuation. But the patterns had stopped. The modulation ceased. The spacecraft systems returned to their expected behavior, deteriorating slowly, predictably, as if nothing had happened. But to those who understood what had been recorded, this silence wasn't calming. It was ominous, because silence in this case didn't mean the absence of communication. It suggested something else, completion. Was the signal a one-time handshake, a test, a warning? One theory suggested that Voyager's signal activated a dormant system, an ancient watcher built not to converse, but to register. It responded, acknowledged, and then went dark, leaving only questions behind. Kaku offered a sobering reflection. The danger isn't in what we heard, it's in what we haven't heard since. Silence can be an answer, or it can be the pause before something bigger. As Voyager 1 continues drifting deeper into interstellar space, many now believe the real transmission didn't come from Earth to the stars. It came back, and the silence that followed wasn't an ending. It was a threshold we've just crossed. What Voyager may have found. In the end, it may not be that Voyager called out into the dark, it may be that it was found. The final analysis from AI systems, astrophysicists, and deep signal labs has led to one chilling consensus. This wasn't a random interaction. It wasn't mechanical failure, and it wasn't fiction. The signal was structured, intelligent, and possibly older than our entire civilization. Voyager may have intersected with something, an artifact, a machine, or a network floating invisibly in deep space. Something that watches, waits, and responds. Not with speech or light, but with the language of physics and logic. Some believe this was an alien probe, long dormant. Others say it's part of a surveillance net, like cosmic coral left behind by an ancient civilization to detect life across eons. A final possibility? that the universe itself is layered with awareness and Voyager just brushed against one of its sensory threads. Michio Kaku put it plainly, we're not alone and more importantly, we're not invisible. The golden record was our voice in the dark, but Voyager's reply or its reuse was not ours. It was theirs, whoever they are. And now the world watches, waits and wonders. What comes next, a reply? a visitor, or nothing at all, because perhaps the message wasn't meant to start a conversation. Perhaps it was to see if we were ready to hear one. Voyager was built to observe, but in its final act, it may have done something far greater. It may have awakened something or someone. And if that's true, then this is only the beginning. We'll be following this mystery where science ends and something stranger begins. So if you wanna go deeper into the unknown with us, make sure to subscribe. Hit the bell so you don't miss what might come next. 
because the signal was real. The silence was deliberate and the future Echem is listening. <laughs>